Hey everybody, in this video I want to demonstrate a technique that will help make life so much easier for both yourself as the content center administrator and also for the designers who actually use the parts. So what I want to do is I want to apply a filter so that when I'm working in the content center I've got all of these different tools available, right? But what I want to do is pare them down by the different types. But I want to filter it so that I only use the parts that my company has decided to go with. We're going to standardize around certain sizes, certain families. Not going to use brooch socket heads, blah, blah, blah. We just want to use our stuff. So to do that, we need to create a filter in the editor. And so coming up here... We have different types of editors, like this is one I've created for my class. There's an ANSI filter, so when we look at the ANSI filters, oh, that's no longer an ANSI part, so it disappears. So I want to clear all the filters. So I'll click here, and all of them will show up. If we go to the merged view, you'll see there's like a billion different things going on. So what I want to do is I want to create a filter specifically for my company, so I'll add the filter. I'm going to add in this one. I'm going to call it D3 Oops, Technologies. And then you decide what you want to include. So you want to be careful here and only pick the things that you want. So I'm going to turn off these. And I'm going to turn off the parts I don't want. Actually, I want that one. We don't have to get too crazy here. But I'm going to turn off things that I don't want just to give you an idea of how this works. So again, there's all sorts of different standards in here, et cetera, et cetera. So it's gonna be a combination of the manufacturer and then which standard you wish to use. So this is where I have, when I publish components, I tell people to put in your company as the manufacturer or the standard organization if you're publishing from scratch. And the reason being is now when we hit okay, and we use our filter, awesome. It filters out all the stuff that we don't want. But there's a problem. The fastener that I did want disappeared. <sighs> so if that ever happens, turn off your filter, find your family, and then edit the family properties because probably what happened was you never entered the manufacturer or you're using a different standard organization. So I'll go ahead and enter in my D3 Technologies as the manufacturer. I'll hit OK. Hopefully I spelled that right. I'm a notoriously terrible speller. And now if we apply our filter, there it is. So by using those special properties, we can now get just the components that we're looking for. And not only that, when we go to place them, we can also use that same filter and now it'll be easier for the downstream users. So I hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.